just uh, finished up our first delivery of the day out here in Waianae. Load of peanut butter and jelly and pet food to a grocery store. Tried to come early out here before the parking lot fills up because it, it gets pretty tight. The 45 foot container in the parking lot with all the cars. here to the grocery store, standby offload, and now we can more than likely take this concentration of homeless on the island and the beaches are pretty much overrun with the homeless so the tourists usually don't make their way out here even though <laughs> you're in the beaches it's well worth it anymore but when I first came to Hawaii I had a uh, quite a few friends that I worked with so they're kind of uh, what do you call that
this is my favorite beach here. Miley Beach. It's almost a mile long, a nice sandy beach with all different types of uh, shoreline on it. busy on the weekend. I'm pretty sure most of the people are packing up now though. You should see it on a Friday afternoon. The parking lot's full. People are setting up camp. But by Monday morning, most of the people have left. Anyway, making our way back into town. for This will be our second movement of the day. seventh movement of the day this is a full 20 foot container full of uh i think it's construction material headed up to the y kelly self storage in y kelly and it sounds like they own the container and they might be taking the container off the chassis the information i have is kind of vague but looks like we're always already stuck in the rush hour traffic here Either that or there's an accident. It's probably more than likely an accident, which is going to be compounded by the rush hour traffic. Traffic usually starts up around 3 and it's 2.45. I feel like I've spent most of today waiting to get into the inner island shipping terminal. That's where this container came from. After we uh, did that first run of the day with the, <coughs> the groceries out to um, the grocery store in Wyanite, we took that empty back to the shipping terminal. Then we were bobtailing back to our terminal. They said, oh, go into the Inner Island shipping terminal pick me up a 20. <laughs> The line to get in there on a Monday is huge. I think I waited like 40 minutes. Get inside, pick up the empty, swing by the yard, pick up paperwork, take it out to the Campbell Industrial Area. Drop that off and then ran over to the big grocery store distribution warehouse, picked up an empty that had a OS and D overages inside the container so we brought that back to our terminal then we picked up a container that had four uh, riding lawn mowers in it that were was at the container was at our terminal took that out to a lawnmower distributor lawnmower golf carts Got that on their dock. Bobtail back to our terminal, picked up a load of uh, heavy equipment parts, took that out to a heavy equipment distribution warehouse. Got that on their dock. And then we ran back to the Inner Island shipping terminal to get this container. I was hoping by that time the lions would have been gone, but no, waited another 30 minutes to get in line, get into the Inner Island shipping terminal again. Line. It was like an accident, but it just it just broke free a little bit. It seems like. But yeah, headed out to the White Kelly Caves to drop off a container. Maybe spot a container. I don't know. We'll find out when we get there. They've been trying to get a hold of the customer and they haven't been able to get a hold of them. So, yes, we'll find out when we get there. So yeah, then, they, then it just opened up all of a sudden. No accident. No, no, no reason for the the backup. All 
almost thought people just started driving faster. <laughs> Nice, well planned community with sidewalks, wide roads, built around a couple of golf courses.
the security guard stays past three. <laughs> Otherwise, I gotta scrounge around and look for a uh, code in order to get in. It's uh, a gated storage facility. are for sale they're built into the side of the gulch here they're like underground Quonset huts and they're huge they're, they're about a hundred yards long gigantic inside think of a football field inside a mountain they sell for like 300,000 a piece. Hey, look, a cat. Usually it's a mongoose, but that was a cat. Yeah, we are way in the back. We're about a mile back here. <laughs> Kelly Caves.
back here. That's about it for the day. We might pick up another empty, but headed back to the terminal until we, hopefully we get into an area where we can get a hold of dispatch. <laughs> fast because it is hot outside when we came in at 5 30 we'll be out of here at 4 15 we did seven container movements we drove 210 miles you can count on one hand the number of times in the course of a year that you'll drive over 200 miles in this job so it's a big driving day today I guess that's why it feels like <laughs> it was a lot of work there's a lot of sitting around and waiting to get into the inner island shipping terminal too. That was probably the most humbug part. The best part was that first run of the day going out to the Waianae coast in the morning. That was that was great. But we're headed home. We got a uh, we got salad. We got beans. We had salmon patties last night for dinner. We got some potatoes. I haven't really thought about dinner tonight. Pasta sounds good, but so does pizza. What else is there? Shrimp, shrimp, let's do shrimp. Shrimp, stir fry, I got some bok choy. Yeah, that's gonna work. Carrots, mushrooms, onions, bok choy, stir fry the shrimp, and make a fresh pot of rice with salad. That's what's for dinner. Oh man, that's it. <laughs> sounds good, my mouth is watering. But that is it for today. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Aloha.